Mmm, Tuesday. You ate what? Alright, today's You Ate What video is almost more of a please don't lynch me video. Uh, this is a species that I've been very curious to know what it tastes like and I made a deal with Derek that if I ever caught one that wasn't going to release, I would keep it for him to print. He wanted to print it, I wanted to taste it. I caught this one, they're a uh, sight predator and it was hooked in the eyeball, it was unlikely to survive release. Ordinarily I wouldn't take it, but the opportunity presented itself with a fish that wouldn't have survived. They're enigmatic, they're elusive, they are amazing sports fish. Most of Perth don't even know that they exist right on their doorstep. It is a Swan River giant herring. Obviously this is only about two thirds of it. Um, Derek took the rest, he has taken it, he's printed it. I've seen the preliminary prints, they look awesome. I can't wait to see the finished product. Uh, so he's taken a portion for him to eat. Hopefully there'll be a video that I'll be able to link you to. Um, so that's with Gyotaku by Derek. Text up here somewhere. Um, check him out. He does some cool stuff with fish. Does some cool prints. Does some cool cooking. Um, well worth a look. He's hung it for two days. So it's actually dry aged. It's actually quite firm. Um, out of interest, I measured the tail just this section of tail, 15 centimetres. That's off a 75 centimetre fish. The tail is 20% of the fish. Gives you an idea of the power behind them, why they're such a powerful sports fish. But I think I will do in my traditional U8 Watt style, and I'm just gonna put that on the barbecue, skin on, scales on, and then hopefully we'll be able to peel that skin off and just have flesh on the other side. So we've got cutlets, I've taken a fillet off, that fillet's going to go on the barbecue. This fillet here, I'm going to skin now, which I'm a little bit hesitant about, given how soft it is. A lot of tiny bones. They look like rib bones or pin bones, but not near the ribs or where the pin bones would be, so it's going to be interesting. It's going to be a lot of bones. I actually just want to try some as sashimi, but just it's sweet very nice nice flavor it's very soft but nice flavor it's like paste it's, um, you don't have to chew it you mush it in your mouth and it mushes you so so far I can comfortably say giant herring is safe from me ever keeping another one. Mm. Yeah, that. Can't get past that texture. It's not great. So, we'll see how it goes once it's cooked. Alright, so as you ate what usual, barbecue is very hot, it's just hitting into the red, 250 degrees. We're going to go I'm going to hold the actual skinless fillet back for now. Put scale side down on. The cutlets I've just turned over in a little bit of olive oil, so hopefully that'll stop them sticking because they are, again, very, very soft. I'm not actually holding out a huge amount of hope. I might as well cook. You can at least taste it all. Rest the olive oil on that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to chuck some thyme on that. Over here. Get out of the garden. Change is as good as a holiday. It's a nice sunny day, so I pulled the barbie out. So you can see that beautiful bench over there made by my pop. Very handy man. 92 years old now, still going. Still going there, that won't take long at all. All right, I'm going to take this bit off. So that looks all right. You might as well give it a go while we're waiting for the rest of it. It's hot though.
That's not bad. I'm going back for more, so. I see that little bone, it runs along the fillet. Weird. Two more bones in that tiny little piece of fish. Yep, lots of bones. This is going to be interesting. Alrighty, let's go try the rest. Alright, cutlet. Skin peels off easy. This is belly meat from over the ribs. It's nice, it's juicy. There's no bones, the bones are there. That's tasty. It's a bit pasty in texture. Uh, so the top of the fillet, <coughs> which traditionally you would expect to be pretty well boneless in most fish, fish, but I can already see bones sticking out of it. Look at that. They shouldn't be there. Well, I guess they should be in this fish, but in most fish they're not there. And there's lots of them. Oh my goodness. Yeah, okay. They like little wishbones. Check that out. Check that out. Little forks. Okay. I'm not convinced it's actually going to be edible. Because there are so many bones, it's not even funny. He says he gets another bone in his mouth. Look at that. Mm. Whoa. That's insane. So the verdict so far is flavour is good. Texture, I could take it or leave it, free average. But, but for sheer number of bones, you can't do it. And it's not like you can fillet it and get the bones out because the bones are running lengthways along the fillet. So let's try this main. Red meat comes off easy, look at that. That's different. Just peels off as a sheet. Here. Still full of bones. Right down the bottom here. <laughs> Still full of bones. Alright, so I'm going to call it. This is the first fish that I've found that I would not try to eat again. Don't keep Swan River Giant Herring, not just because they're a cool sports fish and I want to see as many of them living out there as possible, but they're not edible. I mean, it's edible, but it's not a nice eating experience. Leave them out there, catch them again next time. It does taste nice. I don't want this fish to go to waste, and I've got time, so I'm working along. Picking the bones out. Gentle. What do you think? You want more? I'm not giving you more because I have to pick the bones out.